In Old School Tactical Volume 2's Scenario 4, the German setup includes a hidden sniper. When playing solo, that's kind of a difficult um, technique to, uh, to implement. So I developed this technique that I want to illustrate and demonstrate and present to you as one idea as in, for a way to introduce uncertainty to the American as the American player enters and advances through the board. My technique involves pre-designating 10 potential locations where a sniper might be located at. And then when the German player, either in a combat fire action or in an opportunity fire action, wants to attempt to take a sniper shot at a, a leader, for instance, um, the, the German player will say, OK, I want to fire from this location. And they will roll a d10. And on a roll of four or less, the sniper is located in that location. If the roll is five or higher, the sniper is not located in that location. And if there's other sniper potential sniper locations in line of sight and in range, they can then say, well, OK, let me try this location. Roll the D210, D210, D10, and again, four or less, the sniper goes there. Five or higher, the sniper doesn't go there. So I want to demonstrate that to you. So uh, sometimes it's easier to understand when it's illustrated. Let's say that the in this particular playthrough, the Americans have won the initiative. Their first move is going to be to attempt a, uh, a move onto the board of a, a fire or of a fire group movement group and they attempt to move to this location. Gee, there's a leader there in clear terrain. The Germans are going to want to see if their sniper is located here. Roll a D210. Shoot. The, the result is six, so the sniper is not located. I flip that counter over to the hidden side signifying that I've already tried a fire, a not fire, um, from that location. Now the Germans could say, well, OK, I'm going to try from this location. German rolls a d10 to 9. So for this chance, the sniper's not located there. Let's say that the uh, German doesn't want to try. Uh, firing from this location because there's degrading line of sight uh, in the way. Um, but they can fire from over here, and let's say they attempt that. So the, again, they roll the D to 10. It's a 6. For this opportunity, the sniper's not located there. Again, the German doesn't want to fire from any, any other potential sniper location, so they're going to uh, move on from potential sniper fire. They, if, they, if a regular unit could take an action to move or a fire action or attempt to create cover for themselves, etc., that could happen. But let's say in this playthrough, the German decides to pass. They didn't spend any impulse points through this technique, but they're going to pass. And when they, when they pass, the three locations that they attempted flip back to being available for the next opportunity. Germans pass. The Americans are bring on another um, fire group. Now, this isn't going to make sense, but for illustrative purposes, this is what I'm going to do. We're going to attempt to move here with a fire team. And the, uh, the German is going to say, wait a minute, I'm going to attempt fire at that leader when he's, let's see, can this sniper see this location? And he clearly can. 
So this sniper is going to attempt to fire on the leader on the first uh, hex where the leader moved through. So they roll a D210. Gosh darn it, it's an 8. So that didn't work. Um, then they're going to try this location. And they roll a 5. So once again, that location didn't work. Now the German has a couple, at least a couple more that they could try. So they're going to try from this location because it's back. It's got some defense uh, back behind a hedgerow. And they roll a 2. So the sniper is located there. So I'm going to put bring the sniper counter over. He's going to go through his fire action. But now that the sniper's located, I can remove all these potential sniper location markers, I'm going to call them, clearing up the board substantially. Oops, I might have, made, oh, I was using the wrong key. My bad. Okay, I left one on the board because I wanted to show. I'm using the bunkers marker, but I use that because it has a hide action, so you can flip it back and forth, which is perfect and what this technique really requires. So, um, that shows kind of two ways that a potential sniper fire can play out. The German can attempt sniper fire from several locations, and if the sniper's not placed during any of those attempts, the German player could move on to using some sort of regular unit in some sort of action, or they could just pass. And then this also illustrates how the sniper is actually placed. Forgot one here, folks. <laughs> and would carry through with their, with their ambush. So that's the technique that you know I found kind of kind of useful. Uh, the American, I guess they know sni there's snipers out there someplace and knows potentially the ten locations where it might be located, but never really knows for sure until that D10 dice roll uh, provides the the four or less and the sniper is actually placed. Um, German can't count on the sniper being in any location. So there's a little bit of uncertainty on the German player's part too. I haven't figured out how to uh, do it any other way. Wanted to present this for your consideration, but I'd also like to know if any of you have developed alternative ways to deal with a hidden sniper in a scenario. Leave a comment below describing how you do the uh, what your techniques like and how you do it. Uh, let me know what you think of this particular technique. Obviously there's some flexibility here in that I use 10 markers. You could use fewer or more than 10. You can place them anywhere on the board because the German sniper can be placed anywhere on the board. Uh, you could change the uh, D10 die roll. I use four or less. You could use five or less or seven or less or whatever you think is more appropriate. Don't even have to use a D10. You could use some other technique to make the decision. Um, so what do you think? And what alternatives do you have to offer? Thanks for watching.